Hi, and welcome back to Finders Beepers History Seekers in the middle of nowhere. And I mean it, it's nowhere, there's nothing nearby. There is nothing. It is pitch black in every direction. I can hear sheep, I can hear weird noises. I found something amazing on the way into this place, which I will show you when we finish in this building. But I'm about, I don't know, a mile's walk in the pitch black to go and find it. And I've only got one torch with me. If this torch runs out, we're in trouble. I don't know what I've done with the other one. The one that I use as a backup, it's disappeared. So we're going into the darkness behind me and I'm worried, so let's get going. Right, before we go any further, just need to let you know, this video, this week, is sponsored by HelloFresh, but I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a bit. Let's get back to the video. Right, so I've got Bear with me, but look, look at this, right. I turn you around, there is not once, get rid of that torch, not one single house light, nothing for miles and miles and miles. Now the stars are out, you can't, although I can't see them now, you're not about to see them at all. But the stars are out, but there's no moon, it's just pitch black. And the thing is as well, it's boiling. And I know this isn't boiling, but for Scotland at like midnight, it's 23 degrees, which is crazy. Bear, come on, stop eating poo. Stop picking up sheep poo, cow poo, every poo you can find and chewing it, you little tramp boy. Let's keep going. We've got quite a walk yet before we get there. Right, you can just see it coming into view in the distance. It's so freaky because it's just in the middle of nowhere. Imagine living up here. It'd be crazy on a night. I suppose if you've been born living up here, you, you get it, but someone that's been brought up a townie, even though I'm not really a townie, it's still very remote, this. It's taken me ages to drive to it, not going past houses. And now we've had to walk even further into the middle of nowhere to get to it. Now, I'm not going to lie, but those gate entrance things just scared me because I thought there was somebody stood there watching me. I didn't notice the one at the other side. I saw that one it looked like a head. It's a bit freaky this place already and we're not even inside. Now this once was a farmhouse but a little old lady lived here for a very long time all on her own and it's a bit like the story of Hannah Hawkswell, if you know who that is. She lived here all by herself and lived a very different life to everybody else around here. It's a big house for one old lady, to be fair. Right, looks worryingly sealed up. So we're gonna have a look round and see if we can find a way in. Right, there's some very weird noises just come from that barn over there. It's possibly just animals. I'm not sure. Oh, it's a sheep. It's a sheep legging it. Oh, thank God for that. That was definitely a worrying moment for a second then. Right. Now I've just found one way of potentially getting in. So I'm gonna go and check it out. But before we find out what's inside, check this out. Right, I've just walked in the front door from my road trip round Scotland and I am exhausted, but I'm starving. Now I've lived on takeaways for the last week. I want something nice. I want something fresh. And that's why it's good that I've had a bit of forethought once again and I've ordered HelloFresh and it's ready, waiting for me when I get back home. Here's the box of stuff. I'm gonna decide which meal I'm gonna have out of this. So this time we've got another selection of three. We've got the bulgogi chicken stir fry, the fajita chicken loaded wedges, 
and the lemon and herb sea bass in garlic butter. Now I've had a lot of fish this week, so I'm probably gonna save that for the day after tomorrow, I'd say. Which one, which one? I'm gonna go with the noodles, 20 minutes, easy. Let's crack on with this one. Now I'm not gonna lie, who doesn't love noodles? And you know what, I need something to fill me up. I've driven for eight and a half hours today. I'm so tired. I've got to be relatively quiet because people are asleep upstairs, but I'm starving and my stomach's more important than anybody else. Also, can we just take a second just to appreciate how, how greased my clothes are? I've been sat in a car for eight and a half hours. You can't blame me. Right, what I didn't mention last time was all the little extra bits as well, like what cooking tools you need. It tells you exactly what you need. It tells you all your allergy stuff and it just gives you so much information. And like I said, telling you step by step, each little bit, what to do, when to do it, it's so simple. Right, so I'm just gonna check we've got the right one. Number 16, yes it is. Bell pepper, garlic clove, lime, green beans, diced chicken, egg noodles, and both sauces as well. Right, so we've got our fresh ingredients ready. And I know last time how many of you signed up. I know I've had so many reports back of how many people have enjoyed the meals from HelloFresh. And I know why, because it's just so good. I just wanted to show you there's all sorts of different food. I've got obviously a bit of a preference for sort of spicy food, uh, but there is all sorts of different things. That's why I got the fish this time to show you the fish and it looks really good. At this point, I'm about ready to serve everything out and I am sweating. I've told you this kitchen is tiny and it's been boiling today and I cannot wait for my food. I am so hungry. You're gonna have to take my word for it for how good it is because I'm sorry, I'm just gonna eat in hell. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Even though that food is absolutely beautiful, that must have been one of the worst things you've ever seen me going. Rrr. Anyway, amazing, amazing, amazing. And I'll tell you some more details about it now. All you need to do is use the QR code on screen or the link in the description download the app or go on the website and use the code BEEPERS60 and in return you'll get 60% off your first box and then after that you'll get 25% for the next two months which is amazing and you'll even get some free gifts thrown in there as well anyway back over to the video right I've managed to get in and this place downstairs is crazy that's all i've seen so far i've not seen the rest of the house but i've seen downstairs and i don't just mean crazy because there's loads of stuff because there is loads of stuff but crazy because it's dangerous i feel like every floor is going to fall through apart from this one which is concrete but every other floor just feels like it's about to fall through so i need to be really really careful and also, like I said, this torch isn't gonna last very long. And if it goes, I'm in trouble. Right, we're starting off in the kitchen. Actually, look at that stained glass in there. That's nice. But yeah, we're starting off in the kitchen and there's just stuff everywhere. I mean, everywhere. And that means also that Bear is gonna be as noisy as possible. Because you know what he's like. If there's anything on the floor, he's getting in it, making noises. Seems to be lots of little dog things knocking about. I've seen a few of them. There's another one just there as well. 
you fit in fine in here, Bear. Oh, look. That's your cousin, Bear. Oh, look at that. Just a minute. That's that. This is this. So a little lamb was stood there. Or oh, two little lambs and some boots next to this. Oh, imagine that. Jesus Christ. What's, oh, somebody's told me what these things are before. There's something to do with like, like previous to e-cigs. That's what they were like, but that's so cute. Proper love that. Oh, I love it when there's photos inside these places, like, or outside these places. And then you get to see what it looked like before. Oh, there's a couple of potentially Staffordshire dogs on there as well. And then, what did I just see? I just saw something and I wanted to look at it. And now I've forgotten what it was. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh yeah, I know what it was. So he's got all these cigarette things and then a gas mask thing, which means he's probably, his lungs has gone. So it just shows you, no smoking kids, no smoking. Everything seems to be coated in a black dust. And I don't know if it's cigarette smoke, because look at the walls as well. I don't know if there's been a fire in here, or it's just from smoking or what, but everything is coated in like a black. Look, even the um, spider webs are covered. It just makes me think it's either smoke from smoking or smoke from there's been a fire in here. Or it could just be a dodgy fire, I suppose, or something. Oh, look, there's an old reel. I know some of these can be worth a bit. Some of the fishing reels. Oh, that was quite old, that one as well. Yeah, but look, look where that plug's been plugged in there. Look at the dirt around it. That's disgusting. And then some random neon shot glasses, because that fits in here perfectly. But yeah, you can tell this guy was smoking, pre-vaping, whatever it is, quite a lot. Because there's bags and bags of them all over this place. Right, let's keep going. Now, I was told it was a woman that lived here. But once again, I've got a feeling it was a fella. It just feels like a, a man space. That, I don't know if that's a company, but yeah, it just feels like there should be a bloke here, not a little old woman. But I tell you what was definitely here, and that's a cat. Because look at the amount of cat food in here. Absolutely loads and loads. And lots of other bits of food as well. Right. Now, I don't know whether to carry on that way or go up these, we'll go up these stairs while we're here. And see what it's like. It just all feels a bit funny up here. A bit dingy and oh, it's all dark wood like dark panels and it's just a bit bizarre and it's absolutely rammed by the looks of things right so this is a little cupboard but it's full of stuff little guitar little, that little guitar is quite cool then an mm case i'll try and see if there's anything in that in a minute i'll lift it up and feel how heavy it feels oh look at this this is good it's a bit headless but it's still good i was talking the other day about sort of uh, tin toys and how i like them because it's like before my generation also bells bells people used to collect them left right and center you don't see them these days very much everybody used to have them and this i can't is this a i can't pick this up is this called a cod bottle or a is it something to do with being poorly let me just try and show you i can't remember what they're called i've got it in made that were a cod bottle but i think they're the ones with the with the what to call it in it was that you bear i think it was you um yeah, I think they're the ones with the marble in it. Oh, there's a stirrup up there as well. Oh, there's so much stuff, but I just have a feeling it's going to be really, really hard to get to anything up here. Because there's just so much stuff. Right, let me just pick this case up and see if there's anything in it. 
No, it definitely doesn't feel like there's anything in it. But look at that. That is a sturdy case. Imagine going on holiday with that. God, it would cost you a fortune just to get it through on baggage. It'd be definitely over 20 kilos, that, just by itself, without anything in it. Right. Let's keep going around. What can you smell in here? Can you smell that cat? <laughs> He's so easily scared, Bear. Proper easily scared. Right. Let's try and manoeuvre our way through these. I don't think I can even... I can't even get in this room. I don't... I don't... wouldn't know where to start. There's that much stuff. And to be fair, I think the most exciting thing I can see in there is a wicker basket. It's probably not worth it. I do like rooting through things, but I'm very aware of how much torch life I've got left. Now look, there's a Polaroid camera there. Some little weird figures in there as well. Other things that people used to collect in like the 80s. Oh my Lord, look at it in here. I don't even know where to start. Let's try and have a look in here. Right, I've climbed over a few things. There's a fake fur coat in there. But I just can't get, well I can get to everything, but it's just all just stuff. I'm sure there's some proper gems in here. I think there may even be a bed under here somewhere. I think that's what's next to my foot, but I daren't stand on it because I'm just going to end up going through it. But I'll do my best. I'll see if I can find... Bear's trying his best to find something for us. There's another big chest, I think, over there in that corner. Maybe I'll go and have a look over there. Now, it's not a chest. It's a blanket box, and that's exactly what he's got in it as well. Um, so... That's nothing exciting. Right, I've given up on that room purely because I just can't get in. So we're going to try the rest of the rooms downstairs and then move on back upstairs at the other side because there's a there's two upside two upstairs to this place. I can't speak. I'm so tired. I've literally been on the road for a week. I've been traveling around Scotland. I've covered hundreds and hundreds of miles. I've got an eight hour drive back home tomorrow. I'm gonna to be so tired. Um, I've eaten some good food, but I've not eaten much food, if that makes sense. I've eaten like one big, nice meal a day and that's about it. And I'm feeling it. I feel like I've lost some weight. I feel quite good with it, but I'm just feeling a bit tired, like drained. I haven't slept in my own bed for like a week, so. Let's hurry up and get around. I'm sweating. I'm so warm. Right, on into the next room. Oh, my Lord. Look at all the stuff in here as well. It's, at least it's not like that was upstairs. Look at the ceiling there. It's definitely been problems with water and things like that. Right, let's get over here and have a look at some of the stuff. Now that looks like a winder for a clock, a big clock. Maybe something like a grandmother clock or a grandfather clock. And some other bits and bobs in here, look. I don't know what they are. Right. Oh, it says Capricorn on it and Cancer on the other side. That's strange. In case you change what sign you are overnight, you just flip it round. Somebody that's done some sort of degree. Right. I can start to get over here now. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I like that dog. I do like them. They're the ones with the paint, aren't they? Is it a Dulux dog? I did definitely used to like those adverts. And a sheep. Sheepy sheep. Oh, but look. Oh, oh, what's that? Look at this. Salt, og, brod, glow. Kingdon Rod. Now that sound when I said it, it sound Welsh. But I bet it's Gaelic or Celtic. Look at that. Not notice the outsides. Look, little man on it. Salt og brod. Yo kin kindon rod. It's just my accent, I think that's making it sound like that. Oh look. I wonder if that's in here somewhere. That big clock. That's a good clock. 
And maybe that's the lady that lived here. Now this floor is cracking under my feet. I can feel it. Once again, we've got like blackness everywhere. What are you doing? Are you just trying to get to me? He's sliding about on that bit of glass. Right, let's have a look up here. Now I'm worried because this floor looks very, very wet, which means it's probably very, very broken underneath. Right, a couple of little dogs. Goldspey, <gasps> that is breaking. Goldspey's where I'm from. I wonder when that's from, the 1980s little thing, and that's from Edinburgh. Oh, oh I feel at home now, there's Goldspey. That's good. And Black, Black Bane, Black Bane. Not Blackburn, Black Bane. Could you be more noisy, do you think? Oh, look at this, that's good. Proper glass and leather hip flask. So heavy that as well, really weighty. It would have had a bit that went over the top of it here as well, like that. That's so good, I've cut my hand. I don't know how I've done that. Um, oh, is that the top? That's the top, look. That's good. If it looks like pewter, that, to be fair. Let's have a look. Yeah, look. That's so good. But how heavy would that be to carry around with you? I definitely think that feels like pewter. I don't know. It's good, though. Really like that. Really like that. What else is there? Lots of glasses in there. <sighs> Something. Oh, it's just a cash book. What else have we got? Oh, this writing looks quite old. Isn't it weird how you can sort of tell that it's writing from a while ago just by looking at how it is? I'm just going to make sure there's no address on it. Well, there's none on there. Um, I want to try and see if I can work it out. Oh, wait a minute. Right, I'm going to cover... Oh, it's from 1935. The address is in that corner, so I can cover that up. Reverend, Reverend Dr. William McLeod. The Mans Port Banner Line. That's not here. Dear Dr. McLeod, um, force of circumstances compels me to take upon me to approach you regarding your croft, which... Understand you are rel to relin relinquish uh, your brother, Mr. McLeod, in Knocken, and Mrs. McLeod, your late brother's widow, are both very something that I should get the croft. So I beg to approach you on the subject very privately. Uh, you will probably know that I have no croft um, to something. Oh, to eke out a livelihood and to support a home for my mother, to keep some sheep and cattle. This being a crofting area, I suffer quite a lot from resentment for having stock without tenancy of a croft. Sincerely, I hope you will view my position as being most needful something, person in the village. How good is that? I really want to read all of it. I really, really want to read all of it, but... It's from Alex McLeod. Let's have a look. All the other... I'm going to read the rest of it. I don't care. All the other families here already in possession of Crofts. I may say that your late brother Donald and I were always intimate friends and I miss him very much. I know you will sympathetically view how I am placed and in the event of you giving me the Croft, I'm prepared and willing to pay down any money reasonable for the same. Um, trusting you and yours are well um, will be earnestly looking forward from which I shall esteem with your gratitude thanking you sincerely in antip anticipation of your gracious consideration in the matter with kindest regards I am yours respectfully Alex McLeod that is brilliant that is a piece of history right there I wonder if he got it. I wonder if he, he managed to keep it or get it off him. That is so good. Oh, I wish I could take that with me. I wish I could save that. 
because that's going to get lost. I'm putting that back in there. There's more writing on the back, which I'm wondering if that's the reply. But I, I don't, I don't, it's falling to pieces in my hands, so I don't want to break it. Oh, that was so good. Now, sometimes for me, I love the items that we find, like the unknown things, the things that, like, oh, you go, wow, I ain't seen one of those for years and stuff. But writing is so personal. Sometimes I really want to read stuff that I find and I can't because it would take forever and ever and ever. But that was just bite-sized enough just for me to have a look through it. It was probably a bit longer than I should have been reading for. But how good is that? Like, he's basically crying out for help because he's the only one in the village that I know what you're thinking stop thinking that he's the only one in the village that hasn't got a croft to keep his sheep and his cows but he's got sheep and cows so mad that so good anyway I have a feeling a lot of people will like that letter thing is it just shows I looked at that drawer and it looked like this and it just took a second just to go, oh, what's under here? What's this? And you just never know what you could find, like, knocking about. You just don't know what's there. Oh, look, this is inside here as well. They're all stuck together. But they've got Highland cows, healing coos. That's in the kitchen we've just been in. But they're, oh, it's a shame, because they're all really wet. Really, really wet. But anyway, let's keep going. Bear, you're being really thick today. This is about the fourth time I've done this. You see me walking over here and you think, I've got to come this way. I can't just walk round like a normal dog. I have to stand there looking with the big puppy eyes going, help me, pick me up, please, help me. Or just trying to fit through a gap that's so small, you've got no chance of fitting through, you weirdo dog. Right, what we got through here? Oh, this floor, this floor is is not non-existent. That's just carpet. There's no floor under that. Right, so this is the second set of stairs I have seen already. Um, oh, that floor's gonna go. It's gonna give. This is the little entrance way. Now it looks like it's been freshly boarded up. To be fair. Like really, really recently. So I don't know what's happening there. Whether someone's looking after it, keeping an eye on it from a neighboring farm or something. But. Oh, that scared me then. I thought there were a tractor or something outside. But it's those, that electric. So the electric's on. scared me. Definitely isn't outside, is it? No, it's definitely that electric. What have you found down there that you're so interested in? Found a right good sniff down there. But yeah, there's... Uh, oh, are they... Oh, look. They're flies for fishing. Big hooks on the end, look. Oh, that's good, isn't it? They really into the fly fishing up here though, like really, really into it. And we've got some old horsey pictures. I think they're quite old to be fair. And then a big fishing net. That's a good fishing net as well. All right, that put me about though, that did. Didn't like it at all. That's a weird, oh, it's a table. It's an occasional table. You can see it's weird because it's got a door on the end of it with a fishing reel in there right let's have a look what's back in here oh look this is that photo we were looking at a minute ago she was stood there oh that's that freaks me out a little bit that little woman was stood there and this was the clock we were looking at which is such a shame look at the state of that it's really really gone john miller kill winning what's that say Cotter's Saturday night. Look at the coloration to that. It's just gone very old age. Oh, wait. Oh, this is good luck. So it's got a child in that corner. Then 
youth, so when you're when you're at it and shagging the women, then you go off to war, and then that's when you're almost dead. So you technically you're almost dead there as well. And back then, syphilis and stuff, you're almost dead there as well. And children didn't have much chance of living anyway, so you're almost dead there as well. Oh, and do you know what the good thing is with that? The sun's rising on that one. The sun's in the sky on that one. And the, that one's at night time, I'm guessing. So, but I love stuff like that. I love finding little things. What is this? Is it a little oil, a handheld oil lamp? That's good, isn't it? Is this what went on it? Let's see if this fits. Now there's definitely been some stuff taken out of here. Yeah, look. Oh, sort of. Sort of fits. I think there's a bit missing off one side to hold it in place. But yeah, look. Some things have been taken out of here. I hate it when I see... It could be someone that's got something to do with this place. Is that like a box, box brownie case? Yeah, it could be someone to do with this place, and then that's fair enough if they've moved stuff. But if it's someone that's coming here, say, exploring, and then just took it, I hate it. <gasps> this floor, everything's moving. Look how wet that is. Oh, I'm scared to walk on this. Genuinely scared to walk on this. Oh, my Lord, look at all the stuff in here. There's all sorts. The ceiling. Is rotten, rotten as they come. Right, I'll try and make my way over here. <gasps> what the hell just almost fell on me? A bit of ceiling just fell down. I think it's that bit of wood. Bleeding neck. Oh, this is this is awful. I'm scared of going through the floor. Oh, these are good though. Look, they're nice. And are they mahjong that we've looked at before? Mahjong pieces. I think they are. Oh, and look. Player's Navy Cut. These are, it's a cigarette box, isn't it? I think it's pretty... Oh, you can get in it. Yeah, look. Player's Navy Cut. I wonder what year this newspaper's from. That'll give us an idea of when get in it. I don't want to rip it out either. Let's see if we can work it out from what it says. Oh, Stranron, Stranra 2, Breaking 1. Wow, it's the football results. 18-year-old Jack Lewis signed from Midland League Club Long Eaton, Long Eaton uh, for... Oh, a fortnight ago and made his league debut for Lincoln City against Aldershot yesterday. Played on the left wing for Ford, who had not recovered from an injury sustained on Friday. <sighs> I love finding little things like that. I wonder if those players, I'm presuming those players are not still alive. <gasps> Look at this. Look at that. Now they are amazing. Look at his white shoes. Look at those hats as well. Oh, a little sporran here as well. Look, little leather sporran. I'm scared of what I'm standing on down here because these look like there's something to do with a picture. Oh, it's it's all falling to pieces. It's made out of some sort of shell or something. That what else we got down here? I think that's maybe just the back of it. I don't know what he's doing under there. Oh, some more Marjong pieces. I do love that though. That's one of my favourite things I've seen so far. But another big lamp. And then look at all these books. Burlesque's yellow plush paper. And see. Oh, The Adventures of Philip. Vanity Fair. Paris. Irish and Eastern sketches. There's all sorts. George Eliot. So there is some names that I recognise. Some of the things I don't. Uh, oh, Charles Dickens. I keep coming back to that. It's just so good. Oh, look down here. Look at this. Oh, look at her with a teddy bear and a rocking horse. Oh, what a cutie. So sad that this has just left and thrown about. What are you doing, dog? 
I can just hear you making a right racket. <laughs> Something down there that he likes. He's having a good sniff. What's that? What else? I thought that were another photo in there, but it's not. Is there anything else in these drawers? There's no handles on, on half of them, so you can't get in them. Some more letters. What about this stuff on here? There's nothing. Got to be careful because there is addresses on some things. So there's some music in there, some old sheet music. Oh look! Is this is this a photograph? Is that not? Is that not America? I feel like that building's in America. I don't know if it's a photograph or. A, I think it is a photograph. Can't quite tell. But it's good. I just would like to know where it is. What's it say on there? It says something in that corner. And I can't really make out what it says. Yeah, if you know where that is, let me know. I'd be interested to know where that was. Right, is there anything else? Underneath. Here. A lot of these things look like they were pictures at one point and then they've all been like destroyed somehow. And it looks like some old ordnance survey maps, like really old ones as well. I don't know if that's like... Oh God, look at it. I actually thought that was the binding for it. But it's almost like oil paper, like... I can't remember what it's called. Like it... It's waterproof almost. Where does it say? I feel like that looks like... Oh, God, I can't get down to, down to it. Where is it? Can I see anywhere that I recognise the name of it? Um, it's hard to get it to focus on it as well. Oh, Loch Inver. So it's definitely not far from around here, because that's Loch Inver. Because um, I always remember the Proclaimers letter from America. They, was, they sang about Loch Inver no more. I don't really know where Loch Inver is. I know it's not far from here, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm trying to see if I could see a date on it. Glasgow, Aberdeen, Dalkeith. No, it doesn't, doesn't have a date on it, which is a shame. It's a very old one, definitely a very old one. And it's weird that it's made out of that material as well. Anyway, let's keep looking. I'm quite concerned because we've got 38% battery life left on the torch and we've only got one torch. <gasps> Look at that! Marquis of Stafford. I've heard of the Marquis of Stafford. I don't know if there's a pub in Sheffield called the Marquis of Stafford. Marquis of Stafford. Why can't that? Why won't that zoom? Why won't that focus? There we go. Marquis of Stafford, August 29th, 1909. I'm sure he's. He's, well, he's obviously famous, but I'm sure he's famous for something. I don't know what, though. Look at that teapot. My mum would like that. My mum collects teapots, like special ones. And it's a shame it's all chipped round the top, but she'd really like that, I think. And I've, I've just seen something on here that I've got, or I had. I don't think I've got it anymore. These. I used to have a bar in my house. And the shots... You put your shot in there, and I think it used to tell you on the side, or somewhere underneath, maybe. Yeah, look, approximately one and a half ounce, made in England, silver plated. There's two of them. Look, there's another one up there as well. And I had to have them. I had them in my house at one point. I don't know who Jimmy Shand is, but he looks a fun guy, proper fun fella. What is wrong with my camera? It's not. Focusing properly. Let me try and sort it out. That's a little bit better. I don't know what's happening over here. There's a bit of a weird feel to things and things aren't working. But yeah, I definitely like to collect little bits. All the different bits and bats of stuff. Right. I don't think there's anything good down here that I can see anyway. So we will try the other side of the room, but if you've seen this this side of the room, I am dreading trying to get to this cabinet. I really, really am. It's awful. Now, I'd not noticed the piano at all. Massive piano sat over there. 
I wanted to get to that cupboard, but, but how without destroying everything? Everything's gonna fall over. There's a sledge there. I bet it'd be good for sledging around here. I bet you get loads of snow. Right, um, how do I do this? Like the little Chinese children thing up there. Oh, it's you, Bear. Wondered what that noise was. Right, let's go and have a look. On top of the piano, I've just found this pencil drawing. And I feel like it's been done by whoever lived here. Because it's not in a, a frame that fits it. And look at that. That's actually really good with the little bellows next to it. The kettle over the fire. Like brushes at the side. A little chair or something at that side. Stuff on the mantelpiece. It just makes you think like right back to the 1800s that what it would have been like right let's let's i don't know i'm gonna i don't want to stand on something that i'm gonna break like, i feel like everything's quite flimsy i might have to try and get around the, to the side of it let's try it that way because i don't want to break anything oh i do like these little I don't know. I thought they were Chinese children, but I actually now think that the angels, like a Christmas decoration. Now, the one thing I will say is I don't think I need to make the effort to get in here and have a look because I don't think there's anything that good. It's all like, I want to say tap, but it's somebody's favourite things. So I'm not going to be horrible about it, but it's not like something like, wow. It's not quite as good as, as you'd think. Anyway, let me try and unbreak my ankle to get back out of here. Now there's a room coming up that I poked my, well, I didn't put my head in. I could see it from the like corridor, what it was, what it looked like. And I am genuinely worried to walk in there. It looks horrendously bad, but I don't think there's a cellar. So I don't think I can fall very far if I do go through the floor. But I still don't particularly want to break an ankle. So anyway, let's go and have a look. Right, this is the room I'm on about. There's loads of lamps on there. <laughs> look at the floor. Before we've even got like a meter into the room, the floor is dead. Oh, there is stuff in here though. This probably is worth, oh Lord. I don't know if it is worth looking in, but we'll, we'll try. I'm sure there's some good stuff in here, but be careful, bear, please. I don't want you falling, even though it's only like 10 centimeters, you're gonna fall down, but I don't want you breaking a nail. Right, so I've just taken two steps into the room. Both steps, I went through the floor. This, oh my God. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh, my foot, just a minute. Right, my leg's down there and I have a horrible feeling. I'm gonna to struggle to get that back out again because all the wood is digging into my leg. I'm gonna to have to try and do it, but I've gotta put stuff down to do it. I'm out of it, I think I'm all right. I haven't actually looked at my ankle, but this floor is gonna go again in a second. I can feel it slowly moving under my feet and it's not worth the risk of hurting myself. I'm going to quickly show you what I can see and then that's it. I'm getting out of this room. I'm so glad we're on the bottom floor, not upstairs. Right, so most of the stuff is like work stuff anyway. There's a good little clock on there, like alarm clock and some other older bits over there. And that fireplace is really old by the looks of things. But other than that, it's mainly work stuff, like toolboxes and scissors and stuff like that and it ain't worth walking round in here and going through the floor over and over again literally three steps three times I've gone through the floor I can't I can't go any further I'm just stood here oh there to sweep the chimney as well look right I'm gonna slowly turn back round and try to get back out without dying well not dying but you know what I mean Right, so I want you to think of like a time period that all this furniture, lamp, things like that, 
what time period do you think this is? Like 1900s, 1800s, 1920s, 30s, 40s. And then I want you to think what the light fitting will look like. Match it up in your head to what you think it's going to look like. I'll give you three, two, one. What is that doing in here? Why is there a bar bait light fitting in a room like this? It just doesn't make sense. It makes zero sense. Anyway, Bear, we need to go upstairs because I feel like this bottom floor is terrible. So God knows what the top floor is going to be like. Now, this is my last explore while I'm on my little tour of Scotland. So I really hope I don't injure myself or something terrible happens while I'm here because that would be awful. The last one I did and I like didn't end up coming back. I just stayed here forever dead in this house. So I suppose at least, well, I would say at least somebody will get to see the videos at some point, but nobody will edit them. Anyway, let's get upstairs. Right, was that a little gong? A little gong look. What's it say? Pero Kireche. Oh my lord, how weird is that? When I was outside, I could hear a noise then. When I was outside, I was talking about Hannah Hawkswell, the lady that lived in the cottage all on her own in the middle of nowhere. And then her book is in here. That's really strange. Out of anybody I could have mentioned, and her book's in here. Isolation Shepherd. That sounds fun. Right, where are you? Oh, you are upstairs, that's good. Right, let's have a look. Now, I wonder if someone's been doing some work to do this place up, because that's a level, and it looks pretty new, to be fair, as well. Oh, I don't know. Now, there's a different... Oh, God. Is that from the sea? What is that? <gasps> Why is there a rabbit's foot sticking out of the ceiling? Why is there a rabbit's foot? Like, I, I understand a rabbit could get into an house, but why is it in a ceiling? And why is all the other stuff there? I wonder if that owl has brought it up. Oh God, this floor. I don't understand that at all. I don't wanna, I don't wanna pull it down, but why is there a dead animal in the roof? That is, Really weird, really, really weird. Right, what we got in here? The bathroom, it seems a little bit more solid, the floor in here. Little old bathroom. Ooh, heated towel rails by the looks of things as well. Very posh from that sort of time. I was looking for some of this the other day. I went to Tesco to get some of this and they didn't have any. So there's somebody been living in here until relatively recently because that's only been out, what, maybe 10 years? So, someone's definitely been here. But where are we going to next? Let's look in this one. <gasps> oh, no. I'll look at that one a minute in a minute because I don't like the floor in there. I'll go in that one and die last. So this is some more like tools and bits and bobs of things. Like there's a car radio up there for some reason. Don't know what these big books are, but there's, Oh God, I can't lift it to show you because they're that heavy and that big. I'm not pulling one from the top because I will definitely knock myself out. Right, let's look round here. I'll probably go in this room last because I've got an horrible feeling about that room. It just don't feel right. He says it don't feel right and then walks into this room. And this room definitely don't feel right. Look at it in here. Oh, wow. Just a minute. So this, look at this wallpaper. You think, oh yeah, normal wallpaper. Look under the wallpaper and it's newspaper and it looks very, very old newspaper. Let's see if I can find any dates on the newspaper. Not on this bit. Is it coming off anywhere else? Oh, I 
can't show you, but that sideways says 1915. Let me see if I can turn this upside down for you. There we go, look. Does that say March 9th, 1915? So that's when this paper was put on the wall. What's that, 108 years ago? 108 years ago, somebody was in here putting wallpaper on the walls. Well, putting newspaper on the walls. Oh, there's loads of it, look. It's all coming off. Oh, got to be careful here. Bear's showing me it. Look at it. Move, dog. Bear, move. Move. Yeah, look, November 10th, two days after my birthday, 1915. Lance Corporal Towler. Uh, Mrs. Murphy, not from Ireland. <laughs> Great. Um, military style cloak. And then we've got Truro's Mayor. There's all sorts of good stuff on here. Oh, look as well. Captain Drowned. That's an unfortunate name. DSO mentioned. I know he's not really called Captain Drowned. I'm guessing he actually drowned. Isn't that... What do you call him? Um, The... The Badden. They got in trouble and ended up getting done for tax fraud. Is it Al Capone or someone like that? I don't know if I mean that. Oxo Cubes. Yeah, November 16th, 1915. Oh, these are so good. You would you would never think to look behind the wallpaper. Who's this? Winner of the military walk over 25 and a half miles. Marathon course from Windsor to Fulham. Wow. All sorts of good, like, newspaper stuff. I didn't expect to find anything like that. Oh, leered like that. Horses and ponies of the world. What else we got here? I'm very aware that floor is not good. So I'm staying away from that half of the room. Oh, look, there's more stuff on there. I think there's stuff behind... Oh, God. Something moved over there, then. But I don't know if it's the whole floor that's moving over there. But I want to look behind that wallpaper. I want to see what all this stuff is behind here, but I can't really get to it. And I'm scared of touching things too hard because they might just fall off. <laughs> that sounds interesting, doesn't it? Like, there's got to be some sort of level between danger and being interested. I, I don't want to go, especially as I'm on my own, in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to go too far and, like, kill, kill myself and nobody know about it. People know where I am. But they'll not know till the morning to come and look for me. And they live like hours away. So nobody's going to come and find me, to be fair. Whatever happens. But I know there's some stuff behind there and I really want to look. But this floor is making some weird noises. So I've just got to weigh up what I want to do. Right, so I've decided to do it. But I've decided to do it in a bit of a safe way. So I'm just going to stick the camera around there instead of getting around there. Ah, so it just seems like a load of furniture. So it's not worth looking. However, I have noticed some more stuff on here. Now, I was thinking, I hadn't even thought about 1915. That's the middle of the war, isn't it? World War One. Life Boy Soap. So the guy that drowned, probably drowned during his service. I don't know who this guy is. But yeah, there's... I bet there's all sorts, look. Oh, yeah, the man who would not leave the battlefield for home. So many good things on there that I could sit and read forever. Really good. Training ship disaster in the Thames. Uh, 16 Cornwall boys and officer perish in collision. Boat cut in two by tugboat. Oh, madness. Right, let's, uh, let's get out of here before we end up downstairs. Bear, bear, you need to be careful as well. Bear, bear, move, move. Oh my God, when he ran across the floor then, the whole floor moved. We're getting out of this room. You need to be careful, mate. Just because you're only small, doesn't mean you're not gonna kill us both. Right, what we got in here? I've oh, got two more rooms in here. 
Oh Lord. I don't know what all that is on the bed. I think it's just the mattress that's sort of like deteriorated or been chewed up by so something. And then mirror to do your makeup, another mirror to check your clothes out. What we got over here? There's a big picture of cows in the water, healing coos in the water. Um, something smashed, I can't really work out what that is. Oh, that's cute though. Oh, it says something on it. Life is a mixture of good and ill. May naught but good reach you. May it shadow lie something, only sun something. I can't, it's hard to read that. It's really hard to read that last bit. But, oh look, record player under there. Quite like that table. It's almost like Weems wear, like the, uh, the pottery style. What we got over here? Oh look, that's Venice. I've been there with Andy. Me and Andy have stood on that bridge. And I reckon that's probably like 19, I don't know, 1925 or something, or maybe earlier than that, I'm not sure. And we went there like a hundred years later or something. That's crazy. But that's like bamboo style, that. It's almost like Japanese or Chinese, that, that it's sat on. Look, look at the legs down there. Oh, and then Jim Reeves, Golden Records. What else we got in here? Um, more Jim Reeves. I don't know who Jim Reeves is. Well, I know he's a singer, obviously. I don't know any of his songs. What's that? Uh, Silver Voice of the Highlands. Look at her. What a stunner. Right. Let's keep going. It's very yellow in this corner. I'd not even realised. Very, very yellow. In fact, this whole room's very yellow. Why did I not notice that when I walked in? Ridiculously yellow. Right, on we go. Oh, I'm scared. And the floors. Oh, this is quite interesting. Look at that furniture. It's very bright, isn't it? It's good though. I sort of like that. I don't. I don't know if it's old. If it's been painted like that later on, or. It was originally like that, I don't know. What have we got in the cupboards? Uh, gas? I don't know what that is. That's a bit weird. Yeah, all the furniture's the same, look. All matching, the whole lot. Well, apart from that one. But this one's the same, and the bedside table thing as well. They all match up. Legends of Greece and Rome. Oh. I kind of like that, you know. I don't, it's a bit gaudy, isn't it? And a bit bright and gaudy, but there's something about it that's good. Something I like about that, definitely. What's this little, oh, there's a boat there. I'd not even noticed the boat. Oh, it's the Queen. Someone was telling me off the other day, saying, oh, there's always the Queen. There's always, you're always going on about the Queen. Yeah, because the Queen's brilliant, especially back then. Look at her, how lovely is she? She's proper lovely. But yeah, yeah, we're proud. We're a proud nation. I know not everybody loves the Queen. Like, don't get me wrong, there's a massive amount of people that hate the Queen. Well, not the Queen, personally, the royal family. There's loads of people that don't like them in the UK. However, back when these things were from, most people loved them. I love them, and he's not a fan. So, you just, you just, it is one of those things. We're very different to every other country in the world because of our royal family. They've been so important in the world, and they still are. But that's my opinion. Tell me what you think, and I'll do a bit in the review about it. And anything else in this video that you want to comment about, I might just put your comment in the review video midweek. Right, I think we've just got that one last room to do. And it is worrying me a little bit. I still don't get this. It doesn't look like there's more, it looks like there's more than one up there as well. But that's really bizarre that there's a leg sticking out of the ceiling. Really bizarre. Let's, let's go in here. Oh, it's scary. It's genuinely scary. What have we got in here? 
Look at that big travel case. We'll look at that in a second. That's good because it's got all the drawers in it as well. It's one of the really, really old ones. What else have we got in here? Just bits of radios and stuff like that as well. Make my way around here. Let's have a proper look at it. Is there anything else over here that's worth looking at? No. Yeah, look at this. I've got to be careful. Oh, yes, it's got all the original big drawers in it. And then I don't know what this bit is here. These bits of wood. I feel like they're for something. Maybe putting your clothes in to hold them flat. I don't really know. And then look at the size of that. Oh, it's got, look. It's got AMB on the side of it as well. Oh, has it got a maker's mark on it? What's that say? Patented April 1903. Oh, patented March 1912. So I bet it's from about 1915, like the other things that we were looking at. That's so good. That is so good. But where are you going to take something that big? You, you must be going to America or something, because that is huge. Huge. Right. I think that's me about done in here but there is something else i want to show you which isn't in this building it's down at the bottom of the drive and it's really good and i haven't been inside it yet but you'll see when we get down see if it's any good down there there might not even be a way in but we'll have a look right we're out and we're heading down the drive oh there's a car coming It could just be, we are on a main road. Well, I say a main road, it's a tiny little road, but for around here, it's a main road. Oh, I can see, oh, it's a lorry, it's a lorry. It's over there, somewhere. Can't even see it, <laughs> can't even see it at all. All right, can you see how earlier I saw a man stood over there Definitely, definitely looked like one. Especially with a creepy moon out. Right. We're out anyway. And we're heading. Bear! Stop rolling in stuff. If that's fox poo, you are sleeping outside tonight. Or you're rolling in slugs. Because they appear to be everywhere. Come on. Let's go and show them this pretty cool thing down at the bottom of the drive. Right, Bear's just seen some rabbits. And he's off. You'll never catch him. Not with that little fat pudding of a belly he's got. Absolutely no way you'll catch him. But he's enjoying looking. So the first time ever, when I've said, go and get those rabbits, there was actually rabbits, Bear. Go and see if you can find any more. He'll not catch them, so don't worry. There he goes again. They'll literally be at home, tucked up in bed by now. And he's not even halfway up the hill. Right, so my car's here, and I'll give you points if you know what this is. Would you have noticed this? Now, I've already put the lid up on it, but it didn't have the lid up before. Have you ever seen anything like this before? And have you ever wondered what it is? A lot of people will know, but not everybody. So always look out for two things. This little sort of chimney thing, and then that. Now, it took some strength to get this open, I'm not gonna lie. But look, down here. Now are we going in? Now I'm gonna go and put Bear in the car because I don't really wanna carry him down there. It's a bit awkward to get in as it is. So I'm not taking you with me, Bear, but I wanna have a look and see what condition it is in down there. Right, so I've come back up. So for anyone that doesn't know, there's a bunker under here and it's what's called an ROC post. Now, if I remember rightly, ROC stands for Royal Observation Corps. So basically what they used to do was they'd hang out around here all day and watch out for planes and they'd have books and books of different planes so they could recognize what it was that was flying through the sky whether it was friend or foe, because you've got to think right up in the north of Scotland, this was a place that Hitler attacked quite a lot, like with U-boats, 
with big boats coming across from places like Finland and stuff like that. So this is where they slept. There used to be a bed in here, a table, and then a load of other stuff. But whether it's still in here, I don't know. There is one, not far, well, it's up this neck of the woods that's still got everything in it. But I don't know about this one. Now you do see them in England knocking about, especially places like Lincolnshire, where there's like RAF bases and stuff like that. However, they always seem to be trashed or sealed up. Now this one's pretty good because it's not. However, I don't know if I can get in here. Does that open anymore? Because it's getting on that ladder that's going to be awkward. So I don't want to stick that up my bum hole. Right, let's give it a go. Now the other thing I don't want to happen, which worries me a lot, is that this drops back down while I'm in here. Look at my little toe sticking out. This drops back down and it's so heavy I can't push it open again from inside and I'm stuck in there. Bear stuck in the car, but surely somebody would come and find my car anyway. I work, wonder why it's parked there for days and days. So hopefully I won't die, but hopefully that's not going to happen anyway. Let's try and get in. You see, half the problem is this big weight that's dangling down here. Because if that gets knocked, that's what's going to make this fall back down. I feel like this should be able to lock out. But it, it won't go any further. So I'm just going to have to risk it. I've got no choice. Risk it for a biscuit. Oh. This is awkward. There is a handrail, but when you're doing it and filming at the same time, it's not the easiest thing to do. At least it's small enough that you can rest your bum on the back wall. However, you can't do that all the way down. See, look, this big weight. It only needs that to suddenly get knocked. And this is getting shot above my head. I have a feeling this this is going to be trashed down here. I feel like there's not going to be anything left inside. But there's only one way to find out. It also smells very wet down here. And actually weirdly like paint, fresh paint. Right, let's have a look. Oh. Not totally empty, look. Look at this. Oh, so they've got the old chemical toilet there, look. Now these were used, I think, right through to the 70s. Oh, what's that for? Like a, a gas thing. I thought that was a handrail, but it's not, is it? It's some sort of pump. Oh, I wonder if, it's, if you're getting flooded. He's pumped it out, I'm not sure. But anyway, let's look in here. Ah, <gasps> look in here. Oh my Lord. There is all the paperwork, the cigarettes from who was in here. Now they did, some of them did, oh God, there's cobwebs everywhere. I feel like it, nobody's been down here for a long time. They've got all the pots and pans and all the, Naked women. Oh, this is just like it would have been, pretty much, when they were down here. Now, like I said, a lot of them had a bed at this end. Now, that's that other, you know, the bit that was sticking up at the other end? That's where that goes to. That's your vent, your air vent, so you don't die down here. But I'm guessing that's something to do with telephones and being called up. In the event of... An emergency, nearest doctor, um, Dr. Watters, Watters, um, FSM trainer, loads of information on there that I can't read. Let's have a look. With effect from first, oh, so 1987, 1st of October 1987, the posts in Scottish area above to change their operational designation, post numbers. See if I can find the one. I'm looking for Tane. Yeah, Tane is number 36. Oh, there's one in Brora. One in Dumbeath, one in Leg. 
But Teen is the one that I was on about that's got more stuff in it. It's got pictures of aeroplanes and all sorts in there. But look, what else we got in here? Rock Met Observation Log, Mobile mo Monitoring Deployment. There's all sorts of, I just wonder what half of these things are. Now that looks like some sort of, like it was a photograph, but it's gone weird. Some more information here. Can't see any dates and times. It's written there, but nothing written on it. Oh, 1973. So there, all the things that were seen. What's that say? Something com. Oh, I can't read it. It's really hard to read. But then you've got a little cigarette thing there as well. A little cupboard for your cups of tea. Actually, would they? Oh yeah. They'd have some sort of electric in here. So they would be able to make themselves cups of tea. What is this? Oh, it's if something happens to you. Um, oh, it's Swedish. Instructions for use. Then, and it's made in Sweden. Huh, that's so good. It's like a splint. It, you, it, I don't know how it'd work, but you'd have a person on there. Then you've got your petrol cans underneath there as well. And look, supplied for the public service, HMSO code 28635 exercise book. Yeah, it's good in here. Really good in here. Anyway, better make our way back out. Look at the old bottle of um, Lucas Aid as well. But yeah, we better make our way back out because I feel a bit sorry leaving Bear. Is it Eisel? Oh, I feel sorry for him now. Being stuck down here, wiping your bum hole with that. I'd rather die. That's horrendous. Anyway, oh, when's that from? Printing out paper, 1987. So yeah, it's looking like it was last operational in the late 80s. Cold War. They would have been still using it for the Cold War. Anyway, let's get out of here. Is that your temperature gauge and your light? Imagine if the light still worked. That's very satisfying, that. Um, but yeah, let's get out of here before we get trapped in here. And I'm not filming back up again because it was so awkward on the way down. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh, I left a nice smell in there anyway for the next people that decide to go in. Oh, ooh. Huh. Right, let's get back to the car, shall we? So next time you see something like this, maybe go and have a look. But be careful if you're going to have a look. Don't get trapped in. Right, that's me done in Scotland. It's my sixth day here and i've made six videos for you plus a live and some other stuff it's been really really good and i definitely want to do more things like this where i'm bombing about around the uk and it's only through your support and things like our patreon users and people that buy the merch and stuff like that that's what helps me be able to do this i feel like i've got a glow around my face it's all a bit weird anyway hope you enjoyed it i really did I thought the place itself, even though it's dangerous, it was really good. But then finding that at the bottom of the drive was even better. Just thinking that there was those soldiers there, right, or RAF men there, right up until the late 80s, watching the skies for the Russians and the Germans coming. Brilliant. Anyway, I'm off, and I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.